Okay, I'm going to be fixing some leaks on these flares here. This is a Daikin VRV indoor unit. So I'll give a few tips along the way and we'll be talking about double flares. So I'll go over that more in a minute. But the first thing is whether you're using wrenches or pipe wrenches or anything, if you can get them in this configuration, this is by far the best way to loosen and tighten stuff, especially in a tight space. But um, always try this first. It ends up, you know, you have less chance of slipping and busting your knuckles and you can actually generate an incredible amount of force this way. So I'm gonna get these taken apart and then uh, we're gonna look at uh, the double flaring kit. Here's the double flaring kit I'll be using. It's made by Rigid. And yeah, I, I, with any double flare tool, you can do singles as well. But what the double flare tool comes with is dies. And that's for making the double flares. Now you'll notice that I have an extra die here that I drill a hole for. I just bought this in a separate set of dies. You can just Google double flare dies and um, they'll come up on Amazon. But this kit can flare five eighths, but they don't advertise that it can do doubles for five eighths. And that's because it can, it's just that you have to remove the yoke and get the die out because there's not enough clearance to lift this up and get it out of the yoke. So they don't advertise it as being able to do these, but it, it can. Now you'll notice, well, I'll get to this in a minute. This is a, so it comes with a tubing cutter and then I add a little bottle of uh, Mobile One synthetic oil for lubricating and this little screwdriver that's got a magnet because sometimes it's really helpful to have that to pull these dies out of that kit. Now you notice that I hammered one side of these bars here and ground it down so that I can slip them out. And that's gonna be really handy. I, I try not to do that to my flaring tools until I have to, but when I have to, uh, I just go ahead and do it. And to be honest, it's pretty nice because it makes these work as thumb screws so you can be very quick and easily get everything snug in a tight space and then you go back with these and tighten everything down. So that's gonna help a lot in this situation. Okay, let's look at the old flare and see why it was leaking. So hopefully the camera is picking that up, but you see in the middle of the face of that bell, how there's, it looks like there's like a duller spot right there. That is a burr from where this wasn't ringed correctly. And that is a big reason why these flares leak in the first place. So one of the advantages of a double flare actually is that you don't need to ream it because the face ends up getting folded in, which we'll look at. And so um, that is one reason why they are better at uh, preventing leaks. Now, one thing that's important with double flares is that the outside of the pipe is actually gonna be your sealing surface. So if you're cutting off a leaking flare, you wanna make sure that you cut off enough so that you're not trying to double flare on top of, see that, that that's where the, um, man, what's, what's the flaring block was clamped and it really messes the pipe up. So you wanna cut that off and then you want a really nice, clean surface there. And now we're gonna set the tool up. Okay, now you see why I took the handles off. It's just a lot easier. And with these screws being fine thread, you can actually put a lot of torque on them by hand, at least enough to snug them up. Now, you see that the die's in there and you actually use the die, so the black part you see is your 
depth gauge for how far your copper needs to stick out of the flaring block. So you tighten this main yoke screw first, and that helps get everything aligned, and then you tighten that. And so I'm gonna get these both really tight, and then we're gonna smash that die down on the pipe. Okay, the die has finished making the bubble now. So we got the die out of there, and I'm just driving that little spindle in there, finger tight, and then I'm gonna tighten it up with the handle, and that will finish the flare. All right, there's the completed double flare, and you can see how that lip has been folded over, hence the outside of the pipe is your sealing surface. Now the advantages of this are that the bell is twice as thick, so that prevents splitting. Although I have had quarter inch pipe that will split even with a double flare. And in that case, the only solution is a spin flare. Uh, because there's more meat here also, these flares can be taken on and off without a lot of fear of creating leaks. Like say you have a flare filter dryer, this would be the flare that you would want to make for that flared filter dryer. But um, these are used in automotive applications a lot where there's very, very high pressure. Okay, I wanted to add one thing and that is I modified this handle just one more time. This is exactly what I have set up for my vise is a handle like this. So once I take the speed handle off of it, I have another handle that's like this. And the reason that's so nice is because you can, you know, turn it and then flip back and turn it again. But it's also just really nice to be able to get in a, a very tight space. So, you know, you, anyways, you just have to use it to see how much better it is than trying to use a straight end. If you're interested in that vice video, I have a video on vice modifications and a couple things you can do to make them a lot more user friendly. But anyways, hopefully you all enjoyed the video.